Well, I do have to admit, that is rather interesting. Oh, you were true to your word. That is one hell of a fortified position. <laughs> I just can't believe it's real. The East India Trading Company's private bank, for lack of a better term, treasure hoard. I what would you like to call it? Ah, whatever we call it, that is incredible. What can they dock? 10, 15 ships at a time with full offload capability? This place is insane. Don't get me wrong. I am very impressed. You absolutely held up your end of the bargain. <laughs> no. I have no plans of throwing you off my ship. Well... I will say one other thing, though. I don't think we're going near this one. Look at what's patrolling the waters around it. That's at least four heavy-armed galleons. No. I'm good. But even I'm not that good. <laughs> I don't know many ships that sail these waters that would be that good. And then have a captain to match? Oh. That is a rare ask. No, no, no. As much as I want to, as much as I could retire off this place, I don't think this one is for me. Well, for starters, I'd actually like to live to see my retirement. And there's a secret that all of us pirates know, and the good ones anyway. Never, ever, ever raid past your means. <sighs> My little pet. I'm good. I'm very good. But I know my limits. That's what keeps me alive on these waters. This... This is beyond my limits. Ah, no, no, no. Those are brand new galleons. The EIC must have had them built within the last year. They're faster, they're better armed. My little ship, much as I love her, no. She doesn't have this in her right now. I hate saying this, but I think we'd be blown out of the water at the first sight of us. <sighs> I more than know it. Look at the front of those ships. Do you see those two large gun emplacements that each one of them have on the top of the deck? Do you notice anything strange about those guns? Hmm. Shorter. 
more open and wide. They're not cannons. They're mortars. They have mobile mortars on those ships. That's not easy to do. My guess is the front of those ships are each gun holds. It means that the bow of each of those ships, those two doors that you see, the ports, they contain forward-facing guns. That entire bow section is going to be reinforced. Those mortars can hit their target probably half a mile out. If they have a good mortar crew, maybe even more. My ship is fast. She's not that fast. We'd be out of the water before we even had a chance at this place. Uh, on top of that, there's four of them. On my best day, maybe two. But four ships? Four ships like this? They'd have us on the bottom before we even knew it hit us. <laughs> More ships. What other ships do you think we are going to get? First of all, we would have to find at least three other captains who are just as crazy, and they'd have to have ships that match. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not sure of too many ships with captains that fit the bill in these waters. Believe you me, little pet. I would love to take it. I would retire on this one, but no. This isn't the one for us. Don't look so glum. There's a silver lining in all of this. <laughs> you can't see it, can you? Tell me, were you a pirate? Oh, a thief. Oh, that's a land pirate, effectively, but okay. No, 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 it's okay. A hall like this, uh, a facility like this, it's not going anywhere. Well, the EIC is going to kill anybody that you know, or they think you know. And then they're going to double the patrols. Truth be told, this may be a doubled patrol, but... I don't think so. The back of the island, if you look through the scope. Do you see it? Those are four fast docks. Those four docks were built for those four galleons. They're always here. If we come back in a week's time, there'll be eight, if not more so. Plus, they will absolutely bolster their complement of soldiers. Oh, I don't know about you, but I don't particularly fancy fighting Royal Marines. Yes, the Crown will send their very best to defend this place. Probably because the EIC is holding some of the Crown's wealth. Well, like I said, there's a silver lining in this. We know where the place is. They're not moving it. And they can double the patrols on the place, increase the soldier complement. But there's one thing they can't do. They 
There's going to be a dozen lanes to ship goods in and out of this place. I guarantee they can't watch them all. Well, it's very simple. We wait for the right time, strike the ships as they come in. We have a limited window to do it, but if we strike properly, we could be rich beyond our wildest dreams. <laughs> yeah. That plan. That plan I like quite a bit. Listen, don't, don't worry yourself too much about it yet. We have time. We'll get there. But for now, let's get out of here. I don't like how close we are to this place. Oh, I'm sure they have lookouts all over the place. They see my ship just... Casually at anchor. That invites too many questions. Mm, yeah. Let's get out of here. Come on. What do you mean, what now? I just told you what now. We're going after their shipping lands. You mean, what now happens to you? What would you like to happen to you? Well, I mean, there's so much in this wide world. There's ports, new cities. I hear Paris is lovely. Of course, Asia is a stellar choice for somebody in our profession. EIC doesn't have nearly as much sway there. A criminal can just disappear, never to be seen again. Oh, they're lovely cities. I've been once or twice. I'd gladly make a home there. Fine people, excellent food. None of them to ask too many questions. Which... EIC agents tend to do. <laughs> yes, perhaps I am having a little bit of fun with you. You're asking what happens to you now? Well, my answer remains the same. What would you like to happen? There are many uh, things that I can do. <laughs> it was a little funny. Besides, you're not exactly unattractive. I'm sure you've noticed. Now, why would I kick you off my ship? Would you like me to kick you off my ship? Oh, no, 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 no. You held up your end of the bargain. I'll hold up mine. A place on my ship. Among my crew. Just because I don't want to hit their stronghold doesn't mean it didn't exist. You were right. You told me the truth. You were fair and upfront with me. I try to be an honorable man. For as much as an honorable man can be one if he's a pirate. You held up your end of the bargain. For as long as you want it, you have a place on my ship. Now, I can't promise you it will be a comfortable place. You're not going to immediately jump to be my navigator or, God's forbid, my first mate. 
I think Duncan would have my head for that. But you'll be fed, you'll be paid, you'll be clothed. You'll have all your needs met. If you want it, there's a place on my ship for you. And for as long as you'd like it. No one is bound to my ship. My people can come and go as they please. Well, I guess I have to say my people now, don't I? Exactly. So, the spot's yours if you want it. Excellent. Now come on, let's get off this island. Now, for starters, we have to go convince Duncan that this is a good idea. He is my first mate, after all. He gets a say in these things. And then we have to talk to the quartermaster. Well, a ship like mine runs on two heads. Mine, the captain, and the quartermaster. We're not quite equal, but he gets a good say, too. <laughs> it's an interesting dichotomy. Admittedly, pirate ships are more democracies than anything else. That's why everybody's free to come and go as they please. Well, like I said, until such time as you no longer want it, a place on the ship is yours. That much I can say for certain. Our next move, it'll take a little convincing, but I have an odd feeling soon enough we will be very, very rich. Now, let's get off this island. <laughs>